We're at Orangeburg Calhoun Technical College. This is the Industrial Electronics Technology Department. This is Senior Projects for Spring 2012. Hi, Wesley. Hey, my name is Wesley Steele, and this is our elevator that we had to build for our senior project. It has four floors, and it runs off of a 12-volt DC motor, which we have a power supply right here. On the back side of the elevator, we have to build an H-bridge circuit to allow the motor to run in forward and reverse. And the elevator has six proximity sensors that pick up a signal, and the top and bottom floors have one because the car is only going to be hitting them from one direction but the second and third floor have to have two, one for up and one for down because the car is going to be coming at them two levels from two different directions and the little metal piece that the sensor picks up is going to be making at two different spots. All right, we have uh, up and down LED to show which way the motor is running. We have a seven sigma LED that displays what floor the elevator is on. And we have these call buttons on the elevator that act like the outside of the elevator, you can call it to any floor. So if I call it floor two, it'll go to floor two. And we have safety features programmed into this. If we open a door, it won't run. That way nobody get their hands not caught in it. And if we close it back, it continues the process to whatever floor we call it to. And we also have an e-stop that cuts off all the outputs if something goes wrong. And it continues also whenever we set it back. It's only 12 volt motor, so it takes a while. But once it gets to floor two, you see it hits that props and it switches to LED to two, and it also stops on the one going up. And we can keep going, we can go to floor four if we want. And once again, the doors open. Anytime, any doors that are open, it'll shut off. And while we're waiting, this is our teach pendant. This acts as the inside of the elevator, like whenever you get in, you can mash, you can go to floor one, two, three, or four. So once it gets to floor four, we can go back down a bit. You see the LED switch to three once it hit those boxes. We also have uh, two over travel switches, one at the very top and one at the very bottom. That way if something happens and it doesn't stop at these proximity sensors, once it goes past it hits the over travel switch, it'll cut everything off. And say you went to floor four, you open the door, got in the elevator, you can go back down to floor one. And you can see our down LED comes on. And while we're waiting on it to go to one, this is our program. We had to use counters and timers and we used the dumb bits to lock everything out and we had to use uh, we got our there's our up rung for output zero and our down rung for output one and then we got our seven segment LEDs right here. Oh, that's our reset. We got our seven segment LEDs right here and we use different sensors. We use these to fire to make the three the two come on, we use these to make the three come on. That one for the four and the bottom one for the one. And then we also have this auto manual in here. Once it gets to four one, I'll show you how that works. Whenever we switch to manual mode, we can jog it. Jog the elevator up, or we can jog it down. And then we have home. We have the floor number one switch. We have it set for home. Whenever we hit it, the elevator goes home so it knows where it's at. All right, Wesley. Thank you, sir. Again, we're at Orangeburg Calhoun Technical College. This is the Industrial Electronics Technology Department. This is Senior Projects for Spring 2012.
of five volts coming into my encoder board, um, coming off of my DC power supply. I have ten volts. Ten volts. With Orangeburg Calhoun Technical College, this is the Industrial Electronics Technology Department. This is Senior Project for Spring 2012. All right, David. All right, I'm David Wilson with the Senior Project. Uh, this year we decided to do an elevator completely from scratch. Uh, the team and I drew up designs, got it constructed from scratch, uh, all the welding, painting, assembly, wiring, all of that's done by students. Um, it consists of four floors and a 12 volt motor. And we use proximity sensors and limit switches, uh, basic push buttons, LEDs, seven segment LEDs for the floor numbers. We got an Allen Bradley Micro Largest 1000 for the PLC. That's the brain of the whole system here. Um, just got a 12 volt power supply for the lights and motor because the PLC already has an internal 24 volt power supply. Um, use, use, use block for protecting the outputs of the PLC uh, in the back. We had to build a H-bridge with solid state relays, 12 to 32 volts. We're using uh, 24 or 12, of course, for the motor. Um, each floor has a call button. Uh, you press that. Uh, goes to the floor, the tubes, the doors are set up with limit switches so that when it opens, the motor will stop running in either direction. And when you close it back, it will return going to where it was. Um, seven segments. Each floor is a different number, of course. You've got one, two, three, and four. Seven segments will change to which floor you're going to. We use proximity sensors to locate and verify the floor so the cart knows when to stop. Uh, each floor has, uh, floor one has one props but this is only going to one direction. And floor two and three has an up and a down props. And floor four has one props. We also have over travel limit switches up top and at bottom. That way if it does override the prop sensor, it will still stop without doing any damage. We have a teach pen that we had to wire up and we created this as well. We got emergency stop. No matter what you do at any point in time, you get that, it cuts it off. Put it back on, and you're ready to go. Um, I should do a little demonstration real quick. Right now we're on 4-1. Uh, say we want to go to 2 or 3, we just hit 2 button. Now we go to 2. Right now the up light's on because that's how we got it first. The reason it's so slow is because there's a giant gear reduction on here. That's all we had at the moment, so it's really slow because of the gear reduction. Now it's going to hit the props on the side over here and stop at 4 2. We go back down to 1 just for presentation purposes. What I was saying about the door, you open it, you put it. Open it all the way up, stick your hand there, it's not going to go anywhere. Close the back, continues to full one. Now you're down, LED light is on. As you notice, the seven segment LED changes as well. Wait for it to get to the bottom and talk about the program. Oh, there's also a manual move. We can switch it to manual and jog up and jog down. Switch the manual, four is up, just jogs, two is down. Then we have one, which is home, and that just sends it back to four to one. All right. Over here, we got the program. It's about 30 rungs, I think, 30, 40 rungs. And uh, we have timers uh, program for the LED, the seven segments. That way they'll cut on and stay on until we want it to shut off. Down here, these are the four and reverse rungs. They got all the push buttons, all the call buttons on the side of the elevator, um, the up and down LEDs, the up and down motor contacts and output. 
you had to organize them in a way to, to lock them out. So that when it was going to the floor, you couldn't press any other button and go to a different floor and change the direction of the motor. This is a little tricky. So uh, we couldn't use the motor as memory because it would just stall out or reverse direction whenever it felt like it needed to reverse direction. So we used counter for memory. Had to lock out each one of them with normally closed down bits, that done bits. That way they cut off when the contact came true. Each counter is a reset of course and those are reset with the prop sensors. That way when you hit a button, it won't reset. That way it's in a lock and it won't work. The program is pretty complex, a lot more complex than we thought it was going to be. But senior group this year, we got it done. And um, hopefully look forward to next year's come program that one. And that's all we got. All right. Thank you, David. Again, we're at Orangeburg Calhoun Technical College. This is the Industrial Electronics Technology Department. This is Senior Projects for Spring 2012.